Hey, hey, Nana Kathleen and Jay. Jay, I just I wasn't sure if it was Jay or Joy. It's Jay. Hello, it's hello. Jay Paradise. It's good to see you. Oh my, I am like so excited. <laughs> How hey. is everyone? Hey, Kivia. Hey, Kivia. Hello. Oh my goodness. Oh, Connie. Oh, Connie. Hello, hello. Hello. I'm excited. Pay no pay no attention to the bar in front of you that keeps lowering down. <laughs> Do not look at the magician behind the curtain. It's like that Star Wars episode, Froggy slowly being crushed. <laughs> I'm slowly being crushed. Why is it doing that? Nana Kathleen won a giveaway. Well, congratulations, Nana oh, Kathleen. Awesome. That's Hello, awesome. Stephanie. Hello, Annette. Annette and hey, Unique. Unique. Hey. Good. Hello, hello, everyone. Hey. I moved it up some. Then I'll have to get it refocused again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wicked. And Lulu and Christine. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Christine. That's not just Christine. It's Christine. I love her. Oh, that's going to add all that knees on the end. <laughs> hey, thank you, Raiders. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yes, Connie has seen Dan Shaw before. Hey, Frugal Mama. Hello, hello. <laughs> I miss you too, Christine. <laughs> oh, yes. Hello. Hey, Bryn. Hello. Hey, Laura. Laura. Oh, Laura, I'm enjoying your painting. She's doing a so painting. She is doing a painting and it's quite lovely. Oh, cool. I have to check that out. Oh, yes. It's good to see all of you guys. I hope you guys are doing well today. Yeah. Did I just change color? What's going on with my camera? <laughs> I don't know. That's so weird. Hello, sweet Granny D. Hello, hello. Let's give her a raid. Give yeah. me two this for Granny D. Thank you so much, Granny D. You are super sweet and we love you dearly. Hi, Dinky yep, yep. Jen. Hello. It's good to see you guys. I hope you guys got some cotton and a crochet hook or any yarn, really, and the associated crochet hook to your yarn. We're going to do another tutorial hey nana michelle hey, nana. Hey, nana michelle. <clears throat> don't mind me i gotta answer my pants <laughs> i met my feet the whole time isn't it great cindy hi michi hello I just totally did a Forrest Gump wave. I'm like. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, hurry you back, Wicked. Blanket. I love the blanket. It is neons and it's beautiful. Hey, Crystal. Yeah. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Kristen. Hey, hey Robin. Robin. Hello, hello. Jay wants to know how much left on the blanket, Kerry. Who wants to know? Jay, Jay Paradise. Oh, um, I'm on 76 and I have to go to 101. Then I have to do three more. Then I have to do the order. Wow. Yikes. That's pretty good. And I started wow. this. This is day three. Oh, wow. Wow. You're a crochet machine, man. They say crochet hey, machines Pat. don't exist, but I disagree. There's one right below me. 
<laughs> hey, Pat. Hey, Chris. Hey, hey, Chris. Hey, Pat. Hey, I hope you guys are doing good today. Yeah. No, Jay says, so close. Can't wait to see it done. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty exciting. Oh, thank you, Pat. Hey, and I'm getting my Crojo back. I'm starting to get my Crojo back, guys. Yeah. Woohoo. <laughs> yeah, please month. don't forget the thumbs. Uh, you need some yarn and a hook that corresponds to your yarn. Yeah. If you want it to be a dish rag, find yourself some cotton. Otherwise, you can just go with the, the multiples and make whatever you want. Or just play play along. Crochet along with whatever you have just to learn the stitch, and then you can make something later. Yep. So what have you been crocheting, Dan? Oh, I haven't got it up here with me. Um, no, but you can tell us. My show luck blanket. Show luck. Shop wow. <laughs> my mosaic blanket. Well, you're getting a head start of everybody for the cow. Hey, you're again. Teresa. Hey, Teresa. Hello. Oh, and we have something exciting coming up this week, don't we, dear? Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't mm -hmm. be there except for at my lunch hour, but exciting. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's Friday. It's mine and Dan's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> exciting. Well, the exciting thing is he gets his birthday present from me either Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> Probably Tuesday with UPS. I'm very excited about it. Froggy's already had hers from me. I you have. You guys haven't seen it. Oh, you have fun. I'm sit Well, not really well, fun. But yeah. prayers for your mom, hon. Thank you, Nana Kathleen. Thanks for popping Thank in. <clears throat> But I am excited for you to get your present. It's little things like that that make me happy. <laughs> Just to see your face. And I've already got one of them. You guys have already seen my shawl. Oh, look, you can kind of see the dragon on it. You can see his wings. Look, 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 you can see the wings. Oh, my gosh, it's awesome. Oh, yeah, I kind of see it now. That's so cool. Now, who's that from? The ladies in Zoom. Okay, awesome. Oh. Thank you, Michi. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I love when it pops up in front of your face. It scares me every time. <laughs> I love that. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> so just to make sure everyone knows, it will be a tutorial. And you will need some yarn or cotton if you want to make a dishcloth. And the corresponding hook to your yarn. And we are going to work in multiples of three plus two. Yep. yep. We, had a, we had a bit of a snafu. I was convinced that the constructions I was looking at were wrong. But they were right. I was wrong. <laughs> so, so hold up. When you get to the end of row three. Because... Yeah, that's where I screwed up. So I'll let you know how to not screw up. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> it was kind of fun. I was already in my brain altering the pattern. And I'm like, no, it was right all along. It was just me. Just a couple of things. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I got a kick out of it. <laughs> No idea. Uh, Froggy <laughs> always gets a kick out of when Coco screws up or her chair screws up on her. <laughs> Hi, promise. Mary. Hello, hello. I promise I'm still here. I'm just getting another cocktail. There we go. Oh, my goodness. That's awesome. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. Big elbow strikes again. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. For those that don't know, it's, I'm pretty sure that's in reference to 
I call my son Codito because he's part Mexican, and it turns out that actually means little elbow. So I'm the big elbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't realize there would actually be a translation for Codito, but apparently there is. That is funny. Mm-hmm. Codito. <laughs> oh, I get it. At least it translated to something kind of comical. Yeah. <laughs> Not something nasty. Can you imagine? <laughs> that would be embarrassing <laughs> if it was really bad. I could have been calling him my little a hole this whole time, not knowing, but no, <laughs> my little bow. <laughs> no, you just do that in person. <laughs> oh, they're the same colors. Oh, my goodness. Okay, no, but Corgi awesome. Is awesome. Oh, she's there. Hi, Olivia. Hey, Olivia. Yeah. Hi, well, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. If you guys are ready for the tutorial, we'll go ahead and get started. Alrighty. I'm going to change my camera over. This is exciting. Yeah. Coco gets to tell me what to do, guys. <laughs> so if uh, everything goes to schnit, it's Coco's fault. <laughs> that way we can always blame Coco. <laughs> we want to be able to blame Coco. All right, so we're starting. Well, hang on, I tightened that one too much. We're starting with a chain of three plus two. So for this cloth, I don't know, let's go with 23. Okay. Is that big enough? Oh, it's more than big enough. Yeah. All right. Let me just move my screen over so I know when I go off camera. Oh, let me take my ring off. There's bad words on my ring. Sorry. <laughs> it's my FU ring for my FU finger. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, I don't know where to put my cocktail. I'll put it there. There we go. All right. Everybody good? We ready I'm for good. the next bit? All right. So row one, super easy. Second chain from hook. We're just going to single crochet and single crochet all the way across. Again, I like to use the back bump, but you can do it however you like. I hate this split yarn. Hmm. But you know, <laughs> I gotta do it. Okay. So those that aren't crocheting along on panel, i.e. Daniel. Yeah. I am hyper focused mm -hmm. on what I'm doing. So you tell me if I swear sway off camera at all. Okay. Camera. <laughs> My hands like to travel. <laughs> Approaching the end. I'm not quite there yet. Okie doke. I'm not quite there it's yet either. Like Yarny puppet show. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yarny <laughs> puppet show. <laughs> <laughs> we should call it that from now on, I swear. <sighs> we should in the title. We should tell you what episode it is and tell you it's a Yarny puppet show. That way you know <laughs> we will be doing a tutorial. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Who said that? Chris. <laughs> Chris. I thought it was a Chris thing. I was about to say it sounds like a Chris joke. <laughs> uh, Michi, we they are doing a tutorial of a stitch. I don't know what the stitch is called, but it is called Tiny Crosses. Hey Judy. Hey Judy. Hello, hello. Hi Judy. Welcome back, Crystal. Welcome back, Crystal. Welcome back. All right. I'm so almost, show us some thumbs up when you guys are ready for the next uh, the next row. Okay, I'm almost there. Okay. 
back bump I feel is no fun. <laughs> but I prefer back bump, so. Yeah. Back bump isn't even fun when you can see what you're doing, but like, that would come <laughs> better. True. Hey, Sharon. Hello, hello. Hey, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. <clears throat> and how many of you are crocheting along? That's a good question. Because that's for thumbs when they're ready for the next one. But if nobody's actually doing it, then I'm waiting for nobody. <laughs> You're just waiting on Froggy. <laughs> this is single crochet. And I finally made it to the end. Hey, Chris, Candy. Hey, Candy. Hey, Candy. For those just coming in, we're doing a dishcloth. Um, but you can do whatever you want. Multiple of three plus two for your starting chain. And we're starting with 23 for our dishcloth. Welcome back, Wicked. And we single crocheted in the second chain from the hook and all the way down. Yeah. So first row is single crochet all across, starting from the second chain from hook. Mm, what you eating, uh, Wicked? I'm hungry, too. Oh, for folding clothes. Yuck. Oh, I hate that. I hate folding clothes. Me too. Well, I don't mind, like, if I have the space, like, nice, clean, open, like, space, I could find it quite calming. But when I'm trying to do it, like, in clutter, I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh, bless you, Candy. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> I'm doing Ooh, breakfast bowl. Right, Crystal, you do what you need to do. And Wick is eating a breakfast bowl. Yum, nice. Yum. Okay, uh, what do we do from here? All right, I don't see any thumbs, but well, let's continue. All right. Hang on, that's not the working yarn. All right, so row two. We're going to, okay, we're going to chain one, turn our work. Row two, we're going to single crochet in the first stitch. Hang on, this one keeps, my tail keeps getting in the way. So we're going to single crochet in the first stitch, chain two, whoops, skip two, single crochet, all the way across, chain two, skip two, oh, no, single crochet. Candy. What happened? She said, I should say the apartment above me has the issue and it's leaking through the ceiling. Oh, oh no. I'm so sorry. Did it get anything important? That shouldn't get wet. Oh, nice, Annette. My daughter bought home pizza and can it can cannoli. Ooh, yum. Nice. I love cannolis. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'm hoping so next again? year. I'm hoping next year I can try Chick fil A for the first time. Oh, you'll like Chick fil <laughs> and Wendy's. Oh, yeah. So once again, row three is chain one, turn your work, single crochet in the first one, chain two, skip two, single crochet, chain two, skip two, single crochet, all the way across, ending with your single crochet. Stephanie said laying there. down, listening, and watching with one eye open. No problem, Stephanie. You do what you need to do. Yeah. We just appreciate you being here. Okay, Faith Louise is on row two. Okay. We'll give you guys a moment or two. I'm starting to think maybe it's going to be a small dishcloth. We may maybe should have gone 26 rather than, but whatever. Oh, it's, it's perfect for my hand. Candy <laughs> said, no, it's above the hot water heater, so it's in the hall. Nothing important there. Oh, okay. okay. As long as it doesn't get into the electrical, that could be a yeah. uh, disaster waiting to happen. Hey, Maureen. Hello. Hi, Maureen. Hi, Maureen. <clears throat> Is anyone else still on too? I don't mind waiting. Are you ready, Faith Louise? Okay. 
Good afternoon. Hey, Frozen. Frozen. Hey, Frozen, Angela. Hi, Frozen. <clears throat> yep, she's Frozen Angela's oh. ready. <laughs> hey, Crafty Corner. How is my neighbor? Oh, you guys. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Schnut just went down yesterday. Like, I mean, it went down. Coco lost her Schnut, yelled at her, and there's a video that will come out. Right now it's members only as a preview, but uh yeah, I don't know if I can monetize it because I lost my Schnut. Maybe yeah, I'll you, maybe you I'll can, maybe I'll bleep the bad words. You can when I release it. Yeah, I can monetize it, yeah. Yeah. It's not in the first, I think it's the first seven seconds or whatever. You're not allowed to use the cursey words. Yeah, you did fine. It wasn't that bad. Okay. Yeah, but uh but yeah, things went down. And long story short, she's out, Coco's in. But it might be still a little more time before she's actually out out, but oh goodness. Yeah. About a but, month. <laughs> Me losing my schnut was a long time coming. All right, next row. Everybody's like thumbing up. All right. Ready to go. Awesome sauce. Okay, so this is the row that I screwed up initially. I'm like, the constructions are wrong. But no, Coco was wrong. So <laughs> we're going to start with chain three and turn our work. And then we're going to double crochet into the chain two space. And then chain one, double crochet into the next chain two space. And then go back to the previous chain two space and double crochet. And it might wait. feel weird, but you are actually kind of like going over the previous stitch. So don't worry. Okay, try this one more time. Yeah. Chain one. Go into the next chain two space. Okay. It is Michi. And hmm. then go back to the previous chain two space. So this is where we just were. We're going oh, back okay. to the previous. So we're making a cross. Yeah. Did Double we crochet. chain one between the two or we just crossed them? Just crossed them. There's a chain one oh, okay. before you go to the next chain two space. All right. Don't we to start and again? I'll start the row again just to be sure. I was just showing them cross. <clears throat> okay. So we're starting with the chain three. Double crochet in the first chain two space. Chain one. Skip over to the next chain two space. Do a double crochet. Now, no chain one. Come back to the previous chain two space and double crochet. Completely over the other, the other one. So it looks like this? Yeah. Okay. Now, once we've gone back to the previous one, now is when you chain one. And then go to the next one. Now you see there is one here. It might look like that's the next one, but it's not. It's the, the empty one. And double crochet over there. And then go back to the previous one. And then once you've gone back, now you chain one. And skip over to the empty chain two space. This one might look empty, but it's there. See the tail end of the first one we did? So we're skipping over. So we're completely empty. Chain two space to double crochet. And then skipping back to the other one and double crochet. Now we chain one. Go to the empty one and go back. Oops. And chain one. Okay. okay. 
Okay, we're approaching the end here. I have one empty chain two space left. So I'm gonna do my chain one and a double crochet in there. Go back to the previous one. Chain one and just double crochet into the last stitch. My brain, my little brain, my little cocoa brain went back into here, but don't do that. Once we've gone back, chain one and go directly into the last stitch to double crochet. Oop, if I can get in there, there we go. Okay, see, I don't get why we have this extra double crochet here. Or did I do that wrong? No, it's uh, you talk, talking about the starting chain. I have the starting chain, and then I did a double crochet there. I yeah, we do way. need that extra stitch. We are going to single crochet in that one when we turn around. Oh, wow. Well, okay. 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 So do you guys let me know when you're caught up? Or if you need more clarification. This one, this row is a little wonky. Bye, Crystal. Bye, Crystal. Bye. Bye, Crystal. Can I repeat when I get to the last chain two space? Absolutely unique. All right, <clears throat> so I'm going to pull back a little bit. Okay, so I've done my going back to the previous one. I've done my chain one. I have one chain two, one completely empty chain two space left. I'm going to go double crochet in there. I'm going to go back like I normally would. We're going to chain one and double crochet into the last stitch. Nothing else is going into this empty space. You just got the one that we went back with. So you're only going to have the one stitch in that final um, chain two space. So once we've gone back from that one, chain one, double crochet into the last stitch. Oops. Things are happening. I'm snagging something here. There we go. So it should look like this. A little more of a space, but. Did that clarify enough? No problem, Unique. I really got to get to doing these nails. They don't match. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> but I've been breaking them. That one broke. Mm. That one broke. I did buy new nail wraps, though. I'm anxious okay. to get them. We'll see cool. how they go. Yeah, that's kind of why I do it, because they don't break. They're so strong when you put, like, gel on them. Yeah. But I never got around to these ones, because it is kind of time-consuming. But they last forever, so it's worth the time. It's just yeah. finding the time to do two hands. <laughs> All right, so I think we're caught up. Yep. So for row four... And the final row of the repeat, I'm going to chain one, turn our work, single crochet, oh, no, I almost doubled, single crochet into the first stitch, and then single crochet into every chain one space, and every double crochet across. Into every single, into every chain one, and every double crochet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Who has a piggy? Did Oslo Bobby. turn into a piggy? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a piglet, noises. Oslo. You're making noises. <laughs> wow. Uh, one of my girls does that, too. I call her my little piglet.
by girls, I mean dogs, for those that don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that could have sounded really bad. <laughs> I do not have a daughter. I do not call her a piglet. <laughs> what are you making noise for? So, by the end of this row, if you started with the same count as us, which was, what did we start with, 23? You should have 22 stitches across. Hi, Hi Marie. Marie. Hi. Hey, Marie. And you're finishing in the top of your chain three with a single crochet. Let me just double check that I'm correct with that because I screwed up earlier. So that's what it should look like after four rows. This is just crazy. It works out perfect. Mm -hmm. well, when you do it right. <laughs> Chris says, I won't say what I thought. <laughs> oh, I hate this. Splitty yarn. Mm. We're making a dishcloth, Marie. Hi, Steve. A very small dishcloth. Hello, Steve. Hey, Steve. <clears throat> All right, let me count, make sure I'm right. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Hi Gloria. All right, where did I miss it? Right there. Hi, Amy. Hey, Amy. Hey, Amy. Hi, Amy. There. Let me know when y'all are caught up or if you need more clarification. If you started with a chain of 23, you should finish this row with 22 stitches. All right, unique's all good. I'm not. All right. All right. <laughs> go, away froggy. go away for Froggy. 14, <laughs> 15, 16, 17. This is 18, 19, 20, 21. Now I got to get 22. All right. Which is the. Chain. I said hi, Marie. Yeah, the top of your chain yeah. three. <laughs> he said hi. I heard him. I like to pick on him. <laughs> okay, I did it. I had missed one. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have, but I did, mi I did miss one, so I fixed it. Okie yeah. doke. Awesome. So yeah. from here, you kind of have choices. Technically, the repeat is row two to four. So right away, we'd start with normally the chain one turner work. And go right into the single crochet in the first stitch, chain two, skip two. Mm -hmm. to get your chain two spaces. But if you want it to be a little more uh, full, you could do another row of singles first if you want. But as far as like the technical next step would be single crochet in the first stitch. Chain two, skip two, single crochet, <coughs> all the way across. It is, Steve. It's a big washcloth. Very big. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an overachiever. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, my. Lap warmer and a bio break. Oh, my. Okay. Here. There we go. One, two, three. And you should end with 
chain two, single crochet in the last stitch. Like dust all over here. What the heck? There we go. None of Michelle said those colors are beautiful, Carrie. Huh? None of Michelle said those colors are beautiful. They are. Oh, thank you. I think they're fantastic. They're some of my favorites. <clears throat> show me the thumbs when you're caught up and we'll go over the repeat again just to be sure so the optional I, I mean it's not in the instructions I threw that in if you want to not be as lacy a stitch a little more closed whatever add a row of single crochets but there you go faith is ready all right awesome all right so we're back to row three so we're going to chain three one whoopsie three and turn our work we're going to double crochet in the first chain two space we're going to chain one skip over to the second chain two space throw a double crochet in there now we're going to go back to the first chain two space and double crochet and chain one we're going to skip over the um, chain two space that has a stitch go to the first empty so in this case the third and put a double crochet in there and go back to the second put a double crochet in there and chain one jump over to the next empty chain two space double crochet jump back to the previous chain two space double crochet and chain one so the chain one comes after we've gone back to the previous. That's when you do your chain one. And we skip to the next empty one and double crochet. Skip back, double crochet. Hi, Kim. And chain one. Hi, Kim. Hello, hello. Hi, Kim. Now I'm back to my last empty chain two space. We're going to do our chain one. We're going to double crochet in there. Oh, need a little more yarn. I'm going to skip back to the previous chain two space. We're going to chain one and double crochet in the last stitch. And it should look like that. It looks really good. Yeah. And if you added the extra single crochet row, it'd probably look more like something like this between each yeah, it's like a, lacy, lacy area. Yeah, you can see single and a single. It would go a little thicker between mm. them. And then row four is just your chain one, single crochet in the first, and then single crochet in every chain one space, and double crochet. Oopsie. 
And if you wanted to, you could chain four and do trebles and make it even lacier if you were making um, a scarf with this. Mm -hmm. So you could do that. I like this. I like this a lot. This looks nice. Yeah. Summer's approaching, and I think this would make a good uh, garment stitch for summer. A nice lacy, summery garment. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I keep putting it up too high. Sorry, guys. Or another option too, I suppose. And if uh, you want a little more, uh, what do you call it? Stitches, I don't know, width between the, the closed area is rather than the singles, you could do half doubles. Oh yeah. Or yeah, doubles. So, or double. Yeah. yeah, so there's a lot there's a lot you can like make it a lot you can do to make it your own. Oh yeah. Those are the words I'm looking for. I've been pulling on it, so that's why it looks like it does. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it is it is, it is a, a nice rectangle. I was just pulling it on it like this, guys. Mm -hmm. so, don't pay no mind to the fact that I'm pulling on my fabric. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So basically, just repeat that over and over again. And um, if you're not doing the extra single between each, I would end with an extra single so it matches the starting. Just make it a little thicker at the top. But aside from that, you know what? Actually, it doesn't look that bad like that. Me too. You? Hey, what yarn you're using, Coco? I am using... Uh, okay, I'm flipped around because to do show left-handed, but it's Burnett Handicrafter. Um, oh, what was the colorway again? Uh, do, 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 do. No, that's not what it is. Where the heck is the name? I thought it was something like denim. Possibly. I could be wrong, though. Uh, camo blue. Oh, that was blue way off. You were way well, I, I read. Way I read the French version. It's blue camo or blue le camo, camo bleu. <laughs> okay. So blue, blue camo. Cam yeah. In the ginormous you said blue handicrafter. Camo. <laughs> camel. <laughs> I was like, I've never heard of such a color. I'm using <laughs> sugar and cream, uh, Lily's sugar and cream in the color Sage that was donated to me. It is a four weight. Cool. That's uh, what I'm using. Mitch said I like it. I don't think I've ever used that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hers yeah. is beautiful. Yeah. And I love Unique, blue. So Unique said, I think I chose the right yarn to see the stitch as it with, as it with, and Wet, white, and green. Nice, okay, very cool. I hey, Jack Jack hello, hello. So, does anybody have any questions about the stitch? No, but apparently, I've got patterns on my brain because I thought Unique was saying hi, double crochet. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I could see why you thought that. Hi, Crystal. <laughs> I could see why you thought that. <laughs> oh my goodness I've got like a one track mind when my mind is focused on something that's all I see <laughs> I could definitely see why you thought that <laughs> you know I have been saving these swatches right mm -hmm. here that we've been doing now I will admit some of them I make in a dishcloth but I've been saving these folding them in half and using them as coasters on my desk okay cool yeah, this was last week's. I still got it. Now I'm thinking I might sew them all together and uh, do something with them. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Yeah, they work out the same they're, size. They're, they're look, they're, they're pretty much are. 
Yeah. Well, I think what? the last week we started with 25 or 26. This one we started with 23. So maybe we should keep that in mind then. If people do yeah. want to like. That's crazy. Mm. They are almost the same size. Not quite. I can add to it. Oh, Me, nice. I have some old Bernat camo that's called so that it's called so soft. Got it the other day in a shop goodwill auction box. Looks similar. Cool. Oh. Yarn again said I use mine for soap holders for the shower. Okay. That's great. I that could is. do that too. Yeah. Oh. Uh what stitch was last week? Last week was um the cocoa stitch. Yeah. <laughs> It was the cocoa stitch. And it looks like this. And it's mm -hmm. on my channel, Mitchy. You can go check it out. Yeah. And the week before we did uh some kind of like shell, but not the shell. What was it? The clothes shell? I don't know. Something like yeah. that. And I believe is that on Kerry's channel? I yeah. think okay. so, yeah. That one's on Kerry's. The week channel. before. That was the first week, yeah. Yeah, that was the week before. Right there. Oh, what's it called? The clothes shell or something like that? Close shell. Close shell. There we go. Yep. Sometimes and my brain works. The week before that, we did the thermal stitch. I can't show you. It's in my kitchen being used. <laughs> I completed it. Yeah, it's in my kitchen being used as a um, um, hot pad. I don't know what I did with mine. I oh, yeah. Mine got confiscated. Okay. Oh, there we go. I found from the closed shell mm -hmm. where I know I didn't have this yarn for the first week. So no, did you use didn't it? use that for the thermal. Yeah. I don't know what I did with it. I'm sure it's around. Oh, you're getting heavy. <laughs> oh, Oslo. So um, are any of you guys interested in learning some Tunisian stitches? Because just to do a dishcloth, you don't actually need a Tunisian hook. Not at all. As long as you have a longer, um, what is it called? Aluminum hook or um, something yeah. that Froggy's about to show you. A plain um, crochet hook or an aluminum hook. This is a regular crochet hook. This is by um, Brittany. I'm trying to see where it can say the word Brittany on it can't really read it these are just some Brittany hooks but these are regular crochet hooks these are not Tunisian hooks um we can make a dishcloth with this right here but if you have an aluminum hook you can do that we could make it um yeah. Tunisian yeah I don't have my aluminum hook in here with me it's in my old office but yeah just a basic might have to put like a, what do you call it? Uh, I had to put, I think, a, like a small rubber band around the end of my regular yes. aluminum just to stop stuff from falling off. But I know I'm looking over here going, where is a regular aluminum hook to show you guys? Okay. Yeah. This was a birthday gift. This is a regular aluminum hook. I have um, pencil grips on it. But... Uh, a regular aluminum hook without the pencil grips would work really good for um, doing it. Hey, Jetton. Hi, Jetton. Hello, hello. All good. So, Hi, um, in a regular aluminum hook that would correspond to the yarn would work great. So, you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money. We can do a dishcloth with that. Mm -hmm. Hey, Nisi, my darling. Hey, Nisi. Hello, hello. But uh, we could do a Tunisian simple stitch and show you how to do that. Just with the regular aluminum hook. Yep. Unless you've got a longer one like this, yeah. this will work too. Now, with the regular aluminum hook, you're going to need a rubber band to put around the end to keep the stitches from coming off. Okay. So, if you guys are interested in that, we will do that. We had a lot of yeses, so. Okay, awesome. I think that would be great. 
Yeah. It'd be a lot of fun. I just happen to have a bunch of these. So, well, a bunch. I happen to have three of them. So, I'll be able to use this. So, you know, I think it'll be a lot of fun to do it. Yeah. Just something different. Yeah, absolutely. Just a quick note until you like put some kind of border around it with the basic. Oh, I just punched my mic. Um, it will roll, it will curl, but it there will are ways curl. around that. Yeah. We'll have to put a border. Yeah. Yeah. Annette says she has boy hooks. Awesome, okay. Annette. Awesome. Hey, Z. Oh. Hey, Z. Hello. Wonderful. Already. Thank you so much. If you go to Coco's channel, she has a playlist for TFF. Yep. <clears throat> They are all on there. And one day, when I have time, <laughs> which is almost never, I will look back at every episode, at least the main theme of it, and find a way to put what each episode was about. Bye, Marie. Have a great day. Love you. Take ya. care, Marie. Thanks for Bye, coming. Marie. I think Sharon has boy hooks. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure. You never know. I have girl hooks too. Girl oh hooks. Oh my goodness. Boy hooks. Yep. Do any of you have Tunisian hooks? I do somewhere. I was blessed for my birthday. Um... I did get a set for my birthday. They're just like the set that Carrie has. So I was just curious how many had Tunisian hawks. Uh, oh, so uh, Carrie, I'm almost done with blanket filling in shell so I can put the elephant border on it. Oh, look, Frozen does. Nice. Awesome. Welcome oh, back, Kavia. That's awesome. Oh, do you guys need any more clarification on today's stitch before I switch back to my face? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I could do that too. I wasn't even thinking. Duh. <laughs> I sit here and talk all the time with this dude. I ain't got no camera on my face. Duh. I didn't even think about that. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I'm like, oops. <clears throat> oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I had a... <laughs> so sorry. Oh my goodness. So sorry. <laughs> I need to save money for a world odyssey. Mm. Well, you, you, they'll be a while before they have them back, Akivia. They don't have any right now. None at all. They haven't had them for quite a while. Oh, wow. They have to get some from their manufacturer. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Well, there you go. There's That's three people that have some Tunisian. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just was taking a poll to see if anybody had Tunisians to know whether or not we could do other Tunisian stitches. Because... Uh, can't get into any real fancy Tunisian stitches without Tunisian hooks. Yeah. That was why I was asking. Chain three at the start of the cross row. Correct. Unique. Yes. Chain three and then double crochet into the first chain two space. And then chain way, ch chain way, chain one, chain hop three. over to the next one. And then we start going back. That's when you start going back. Chain way. 
Jane. <laughs> oh, yes. Tradition hooks. Awesome. You mean cool. Tunisian? Oh, Steve has them too. Awesome. Cool. So maybe we can get some fancy stitches in there too, guys. That'll right, be fun. Looks like, looks like Coco's going to have to go to the, the freaking Frick store on the corner and get herself a random, just the longer. The longer one. Yeah. That I can't, I have, you know, I have two of the long ones and uh, I always called them Afghan hooks. Okay. I guess I'm old school. <laughs> Yeah, that's how I've seen them call that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kim has Tunisians also. Chris says USS Yarn Attic with Captain Chainway. <laughs> Captain Chainway. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my god. Oh, that's one of my favorite. Like, what's it called? Not episode, but like Star Trek version series. series. Star Trek series mm -hmm. is Voyager. I liked Voyager. Mm. That was actually a pretty good one. Yeah, my talk to Texas is very good. <laughs> you know, you I should have to see Captain Chainway, right? <laughs> oh, my mom will not text at all, and she's always oh, voiced to text. And some of the deciphering I need to do is absolutely ridiculous. With the oh, text dear. I get from my mother. Oh, I bet it's awful. Oh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Especially when she starts throwing in like uh, French store names, like oh, voice of text. No. Is like, I'm just going to make this up. I don't know. Don't mind the blue tongue. Kim calls them <laughs> hooks, too. Nice. Awesome. Okay, see, that, yeah, that's more what I'm going to, what I, call them okay oh that's nice 12 for 13 bucks very cool i didn't know that i got mine as a gift and i am like over the moon with them i just can't wait to use them i i ordered a set of the tunisian mm -hmm. hooks with the long extension on them the cord nice for, Ten dollars and ninety-seven cents for a oh pulse wow, wow on Amazon. That's a good wow. deal. Yeah, I might have to look that up because that's gonna probably cost me about ten bucks at the freaking Frick store just for wow. like a, an Afghan one. Of leakies or likeies, however you say Wow. Okay. Awesome. Those are pretty. Those are ex nice. Yeah. <laughs> ex nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. How do they glide though? I'm always worried about wooden hooks. Like, do they I glide well? I don't, I don't particularly like them. I'll use them, but I don't particularly like them. Well, my likes okay. that I have are like butter. Okay. Oh, wonderful, Amy. I'm, I'm you know what? Just call it a sleep and whip. It's all good. I'm definitely a <laughs> over guy. Yeah, I am a furls girl. I'm a clovers girl. Well, the yeah. ones the ones that I have are clovers. Okay. Those are clovers. Yeah. And yeah, but not they're green. They the are clovers. ones are clovers. Oh, these the Tunisians. Are, okay. These are clovers. Yeah, this is clover. Yeah, this. Okay. These, like you said, I'm a furls furls girl, but mine are clovers. I'm like. Did they... These are these are clovers. <laughs> okay. But, I mean, they feel just as smooth as metal. Hmm. But yeah, this is this is clover. Um, furls okay. does make wood. Yeah. You got the Chalgu Tunisian hex. Nice. Awesome. Yes. I want to start a Tunisian project, but I'm not sure what to make suggestions. You can find some awesome books on Amazon. You need. Oh, yeah. Um, I would start with TL Yarncrafts and see what she's got. Because she's got lots of stuff. Uh, other than that, I don't know. Well, that's lantern awesome, Kimia. What are lantern moons? Is that the crochet hooks? Yeah. I've heard of that. I never heard oh, of yeah. that. Oh, yeah. 
That's awfully bougie there, Steve. <laughs> I know what lantern moons are. Do they That's light a, up? <laughs> no, they're bougie. Very bougie. They're bougie like leakies are. Okay. Or likey, however you want to say it. Oh, you just don't know what to do, Faith Louise. Oh, my goodness. Really? Wow. Okay, very Wonderful, cool. Wonderful, Sharon. I know you do because you're going to have the one coming from me. It gets picked up tomorrow. Mitzi just bought the book. Have nice. Okay, what book awesome. did you just buy? Oh, yeah. What book? Did you buy Teal Yarncraft's book? I just bought her book. Must be I would Teal. Assume. I need to get P.L. Yarncraft's book. I think it's great. I love her book. I don't have it, but I want to get it. There's oh still my, so much I want to do with regular crochet that I'm not even going to like branch out to like. I just want to, I want to learn it. I've done mm -hmm. Tunisian in the pet. Well, with the Afghan hook, my grandmother taught me. I haven't done that in many, many years. So I want to do some stuff on it so I can say I learned it. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't I'm mind, not, like, again, doing tutorials, learning some stitches. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. I'm not going to get involved. There are some really cool stitches in Tunisian. Yeah, I'm not going to get involved in a big project. Mm -hmm. So, but we've been on an hour, guys. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess it's time for us to go. We are going to be on Coco's channel next week. And I hope you're excited about that. And we will probably mm -hmm. do another tutorial. I have no idea what we're going to do. Yeah, Not I usually let them know like 10 minutes before we go on. <laughs> well, we will decide right then and there. But I hope you guys have had a good time with this tutorial. If you have any questions, please email twistedfiberfriends at gmail.com. And or in the Facebook group. Or yes, definitely in the Facebook group. And someone will get back to you as soon as possible. Yep, Otherwise, yeah. stay safe out there. Be kind to one another. And uh, we'll Be a see blessing. you soon. Thanks for coming, everyone. Thank Bye. You guys. Bye. Bye now. <laughs>